So like a lot of people, I created a wood shop uh, in my basement during the pandemic of the last year and a half or so. Uh, it's about 168 square feet, and I primarily use pallet wood for all the projects that I do. It became pretty clear early on that in order to do this effectively and in a healthy way, I needed a better way to manage my dust and uh, dust coming off of all the machines and sanding. So I searched the internet and I came up with uh, a guy named Chris Notap and his development of a two bucket pre-filter for a shop vac. And what you see here is what my version of that was. So the idea is it draws in the dust from the machines, spins it around, drops it to the bottom before it gets to the shop vac clogging the filter. It's a great idea and it really works well. So what I've done here in the last year is I've used this, this system I've done a couple things that I think that have made it even just a little bit better. The first thing is where the two buckets come together, I just sealed uh, over the one rim with some duct tape so when they come together, it's even a tighter seal. The second thing I did, which is probably the best thing I've done so far, is I built an X base uh, and I bolted it onto the bottom of the bottom bucket and I put casters on it. So the whole system can roll around and not tip over. And that's one of the complaints I've seen with a number of people who have done this system. It still works great, but this way I can move it around the shop without having to worry about the tip overs. Uh, the next thing I did was to attach my shop vac to a remote control. So whenever I need to use it while using saws or sanders or planer, I don't have to go over and plug in or turn on the, uh, the shop vac each time. All I have to do is push the button. Which has saved a huge amount of time and hassle. So if you're going to try this, and you're going to try this Chris Notap bucket system, uh, which is, again, a great idea, and I'm not claiming anything original, I'd recommend those improvements that I've made and I'd also go to whatever big box store you go to, Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever, and get yourself a series of attachments because you're going to find that it's not always the easiest thing to find the pieces and parts to attach to your different machinery so you can use the system. So find a place where you can get some of these and get some extra hose length because you can do things like with my, uh, my chop saw, I have a dedicated one of these just for that, so I don't have to keep moving back and forth. So it's a great system. You should give it a try.